Well, welcome to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. I do apologise. There's no uh, video. This is not like that. We've just got audio, and yes, it is a bit potato. Uh, but I am actually away shooting my film, and I didn't want to. I couldn't really not do this. I mean, this is the bread and butter of my channel. We're getting a Predator Five movie. Um, this is huge. This is really, really, really big. Uh, so this came out of nowhere. I I don't understand. I'm not dismayed. I'm quite happy about it. Uh, and I think there's going to be a lot of naysayers because of the overview. But I'm I'm actually quietly confident about this, uh, and I, and I'll explain why. So we're getting uh, Predator Five. Directed by Cloverfield, Clo Ten Cloverfield Lane's Dan Trachtenberg, and I really like Ten Cloverfield Lane. It tends to be the, the sort of closing sequence most people have an issue with, which you can say is J.J. Abrams' problem, and he caused the issue anyway. He shoehorned it in, but the direction was great. So him, tense, gripping, what he managed to do for Ten Cloverfield Lane on a Predator movie, yeah, I love it. Uh, this is on AVP Galaxy. They have some exclusive news here, so I'll leave their site link down below. Please do go and check it out. Uh, in what seems like pretty surprising news, despite the generally poor response to Shane Black's The Predator, 20th Century Fox Studios, isn't leaving the Predator franchise to fade into the ether just yet, which is great news. Now, it's Deadline initially, but AVP Galaxy have more info. So Deadline broke the news for Dan Trachtenberg, probably best known for Ten Cloverfield Lane, in addition to episodes of Black Mirror and The Boys, will be directing a Predator 5 written by Patrick Aysen. Now, Aysen's writing credits are not that massive. Okay, He doesn't have any previous film work, but he has written for TV, most notably Amazon's recent version of Jack Ryan. So I don't know whether that's good or bad, but look, he's making the transition. He might be great. He might be really, really good. Um, now, what Deadline wasn't able to go into specifics of is the plot of Predator 5. However, AVP Galaxy has some information. So they're the ones which have now revealed some story details, and they have known about this for some time. I have not, but this is a pretty big leap they're saying. And I don't, I don't hate it. I really don't hate it. In December of 2019, Discussing Film exclusively announced that Trachtenberg was developing a film with 20th Century Studios and Disney called Skulls. This was also written by Patrick Asim and was to be produced by longtime Predator series producer John Davis. Discussing film also provided some small details about Skulls' plot. And here's where a lot of people are going to be annoyed, but bear with me and I'll explain why I think it's actually why it's inbuilt into the story, why it can't go the way you think it's going to go. Skulls will follow a Comanche warrior who goes against gender norms and traditions to become a warrior, right? That's going to annoy a lot of people, I know. Um, but I actually think this, I think this could be good. I think this could be good. And bearing in mind, I will I'll happily call out if it's crap. Um, so they go on to say, this small bit of information marries up with what Aliens vs. Predator Galaxy was told regarding the upcoming Predator 5. According to our own sources, Predator 5 will be set in the past, finally, which is a great setting, absolutely. The past or the far-flung future is what I've always wanted, uh, where it will focus around Native Americans before the territories were taken by American settlers, featuring a First Nations cast, and it seems quite likely that Skulls is actually Predator 5, perhaps a working title or codename. There's precedent for this, guys. There is absolutely precedent for this. Now, the Predator series was explore, has explored Native American culture in the past, most notably within the iconic novelization Predator the Game, the second of Dark Horse's Predator series. And this wouldn't be the first time that a Predator has looked to the expanded universe for inspiration. Predator 2 featuring many similarities with Dark Horse's first Predator story, which is uh, with um, you know, Raphael Adolini. So, let's have a look at this. I mean, what do we say? Okay, Comanche Warrior. It's going to annoy a lot of people, I know. Um... Personally, I actually don't think it's that bad. I genuinely don't think it is terrible news. Now, Comanche Warrior, in the timeline, yes, they're saying, uh, you know, it's going to go against gender norms and all this kind of stuff. But I... I it's it's going to be difficult to shoehorn gender politics in 
do that time period with that as a backdrop, the Predator. So I have some hope just because I think you're going to have to work really hard to shoehorn in gender politics, basically. Um, and I think it could be good. But then also as well, yeah, I don't know. I'm just, I don't know, maybe I'm just excited. Maybe I'm being a bit dumb, but I am just excited by this. I, I think it's good prospect. However, it is under Disney's banner. The only reason it's probably being greenlit is because it is a woman and it is going against gender norms. That is kind of what we're doing uh, in this day and age. But I don't hate this. I think this could be really, really, really decent. I hope it is. I really hope it is. And I hope they listen and they take more from the expanded universe, the Dark Horse stuff, because they're great. They're fantastic. So listen, um, I guess they, you know, they didn't want to follow the Predator because obviously, how do you follow that? I guess, you know, you have Iron Man Predators. Ridiculous. And they've opted to then go for this. Shoot it in the past. Makes sense. Low budget as well. Guys, this is going to be super low budget. So it's not going to be hard to make money. Um, and would I want to see a Predator going up against Comanche Warriors? Yeah. Wouldn't you? Take the uh, gender politics out of it. I think it could be good. And Dan Trachtenberg has a good track record in terms of... Or Trachtenberg. Um... His 10 Cloverfield Lane is fantastic. Staggeringly, staggeringly tense. Really, really good. So I'm positive with this, but it could be, could be garbage. And if it is, I'll, I'll tell you it's all trash. So let me know your thoughts on this down below in the comment section. I'd love to hear it because this is going to really... Mm, some people are going to love this. Some people are going to hate it. So please do let me know. Uh, if you are curious as to what I'm filming here, please do head on over to my personal website, uh, productionhfilms.com as well as the GoFundMe link down below. I'm making a Lovecraftian psychological horror film. Uh, and if you head on over to the website, there's links to the Instagram for my production company and you can see some behind the scenes uh, shots that we've been doing on day one uh, as well as day two, I believe, of the principal photography. But anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. Sorry if it's potato audio uh, and no cam, but it is how it is. Take care.